Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to export line item data from an invoice to a different database table and link those line items back to the original invoices on the database. Our starting point for this tutorial is going to be the job we created on the database export video you can find by clicking on this card on the top right of the screen or following the link on the description below. This is a very basic job. We have a single document type and we are capturing some header information and then some line item data. And what we want to do is to make sure that the line item data is exported to a separate table on our database and then link those line items back to the original invoice. And to do that, we are going to use a unique code generated by kernel scan. First, on the form view, we are going to create a new field called GUID. And then we click on OK. And then we can see the new field right here. Now we are going to open the properties for that field by right clicking on it and then clicking on field properties. And then on the properties panel, we're going to scroll down until we find the document scripting section. And then on the on validate field, we're going to click on the gear icon to the right of the field. Then we're going to switch to the last line and we are going to write this piece of code. All this bit of code is doing is setting the value for the GUID field. If you want to copy and paste that piece of code, just go to the video description and copy it from there into your kernel scan. And then I'm just going to click on run script to make sure that everything is fine. And then I'm going to click on save. No errors popped up, so we are good to go. Now we can see on the GUID field, we have a unique code. And this unique code is going to be used on each line item entry and on each invoice entry on the invoices table to identify the unique invoice and link back to it. The way we have it set up, every time a document is imported in process, the GUID field will be populated. Now we are going back to the scan input tab and then click on the export batch button. As you can see, we have our two database exports. Now we want to add another one. I'm going to click on the add output. I'm going to select ODBC export and then file system. And then we click on the add button. And the machine data source, I'm only going to do that for the MDB file. The process for a SQL database or whatever database you might have is exactly the same. I'm going to click on OK. And then we'll be able to set up the export. The first thing I'm going to do on the name field is to call this one line item export MDB database. There we go. And then what we're going to do is create a table if it doesn't exist. And the name of the table is going to be line item data. And then what we want to export is only the GUID field and then the line items. So I'm just going to disable everything and only leave the GUID field and then keep going down and make sure I have all of my grid fields, my line item fields enabled. And then we're going to click on OK. For the file system, we can click OK and remove the module right away. Now, on my normal invoice export, I have to make sure the GUID field is now enabled. So I'm going to open my MDB export right here. And then I'm going to disable the grid data export. And 
enable my GUID field. And then I'm going to click on OK and save. Now, when I export, we'll be able to see that both modules were exported and each line item will be linked to the original invoice. Let's check out the database. We can see here the invoices items and the unique ID identifying each. And then on the line item data table, we should be able to see the GUID linking back to each invoice and the data itself. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.